You okay there? It's uh, Tim G5TM back for another one. Now I love working HF Mobile and in the past couple of weeks I've been trying out a few different configurations. Now recently I've brought out a couple of videos using the uh, slide winder coil and uh, in conjunction with that I've been using an antenna called the Tank Whip. Now those of you who come from an 11 meter background, a CB background, will know all about what the Tank Whip is in all probability. What it is, is basically a, a nine foot or 2.75 meter long antenna. Uh, so it comes in two sections. I'll show you in a second what it looks like. And effectively it's a quarter wave on about 27, 27.5, maybe up to 28 megahertz. Now uh, I've been using it in, in conjunction with the slide winder coil to uh, provide coverage on all bands really from about uh, 10 meters uh, up or down, I should say, to about 40 metres, and it's worked really, really well. Now, uh, prior to that, prior to me getting the tank whip, I've been, or I had, experimented to try and make the antenna work well on different bands, but not having to get out of the car and uh, swap the bands over, like I had done with the slide winder, moving the coil up and down. So what I've been doing is using a tuner, and of course in a previous video, and I'll put the link up there, um, we've been using the LDG RT100 tuner in conjunction with the uh, with the tank whip, and the um, it's worked really well with the FT891 from Yezu in ATAS mode. So let's have a look at the tank whip then, and uh, basically it's a two uh, two piece antenna. You've got the the thicker. Uh, part at the bottom as you'd expect with the two piece. Uh, each um, is just over four feet long uh, which is about 1.3 1.4 meters. This is the the bit in the middle you can see there's a grub screw there and it comes with a little little hex key and basically allen key and basically what you do is you just loosen that up and you slide the top part in here look and it goes in try not to poke anyone else's eye out here um, Oh, there you are. yeah, it goes into there, okay, and then you just basically tighten up and away you go, dead simple. Now, you don't want to drive around with one of these on your car, but as a still parked up, we call static mobile antenna, it does really well. And the single mag mount seems to hold it on pretty easily. I currently still use a mag mount, but that situation may change shortly. So that's the, uh, that's the tank whip, and I have to say for the pricely sum of £20, 20 English pounds sterling, the antenna has done really, really well, as we shall see. Roger, Roger, you're five and three, fifty three of her. Roger, Roger, five by five, it's five by five, Roger. Germany five, Tango Mike uh, Mobile. Uh, this is AJ one U. Uh, thanks for the call. Uh, name is John Juliet Oscar November. I'm located in Woodbury, Connecticut, uh, West Central Connecticut. Uh, back to you. Roger, Roger, you picking five by six, five by six, break up and eager. Nice to hear you are bad. G five Tango Mike Mobile. So that very brief montage was taken from last Thursday, which was about two days ago now. Went down to the local uh, spot near the sea and had a go. And as I say, the setup was basically the, uh, the tank whip on the roof of the car and a single mag mount. About two to two and a half metres of RG58 going into a, a choke and straight then into uh, the LDG RT100 tuner and then a short piece of coax into the rig. And again, as I, show, as I said to you earlier, I operated the 891 in ATAS mode. And of course, that allows then the uh, RT100 to get some power back down the coax and effectively do its tuning. So there's no need for any extra power source, any extra batteries or anything like that at all for the RT100 tuner and it works really well. Now my next idea to improve this still further is to shorten the coax from the feed point to the tuner. Now the RT100 isn't a uh, weather proof tuner, but it is weather resistant. 
So for brief periods of time, you can have it out in all weathers, really. So I'm going to put it on the roof of the car. I'm going to basically shorten the coax again from the mag mount. In, so basically, the, um, the tuner will be right next to the feed point. Um, and I'll wind the existing coax around the toroid into a choke. So that'll do that as well, to choke off any common mode. It'll be a much shorter piece of coax with uh, much less loss. And uh, then run a bit of extra co extra coax from the roof, from the uh, tune on the roof, down into the radio. So that's the next that's the next idea, and I'll be implementing that shortly. But the message is, guys, the higher bands are open, 10, 12, 15, 17, 20 metres, especially 10, 12 and 15 now. Get out there and enjoy yourself and get some nice contacts using HF Mobile. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, then click subscribe and uh, click like and that notification bell for any future videos. Take care, and uh, if you're going out to work HF Mobile or whatever you're doing, I wish you the best with it. Bye now, to the next time. See you soon.